Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza here with another video. What I want to show you is how to convert this monitor. We're going to go from uh, landscape to portrait, okay? And because sometimes it's real important to have some real long documents. And, I, you know, I usually have a lot of monitors uh, everywhere I go. And I always have to go and flip my monitors around. So I was trying to figure out a way how to do that. I was actually gonna either pay somebody or or, or get somebody to let me use their uh, uh, shop to to convert this so that where I can flip it around. I actually found a way how we can do it with this. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Uh, so this is the AOC CQ 27 G2 27 inch super curved frameless gaming monitor. So if you have one of these monitors, you're going to be able to do what I what I uh, going to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. Okay, so. Um, and then we move things around a little bit here so we can uh, so <clears throat> in the back of the monitor I, I, I want to show you how to take this thing out there's a little uh, plug here so here, let me let me move them uh, this thing real close so you can see it. You see it right here. All I have to do here, let me even get closer than that. I'm gonna move stuff around a little bit. So <clears throat> right here, there's this little. Uh, Oh, there it goes. You see this thing right here? If I lift up on this thing, this whole thing will be released. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and, and I'll show you something. <clears throat> so I'm going to lift up on that little uh, button there, and now I'm able to lift this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside so that I can show you what we're going to do. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take these four screws out. We're going to get this mechanism and we're going to flip it. It, it really doesn't matter if we flip it this way or this way. Because if you have the right drivers, we, we will be able to tell the monitor which way to go. And, I, and I, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and take those screws out you can use a regular phillips screwdriver i think it's the number one screwdriver um, so let me take those four little screws okay so now as i was saying you can put it this way or this way and what's really going to matter is what um how much room you have as far as your your uh connections you know if you if you don't have enough connections you're going to want the um the plugs to be on this side Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put it this way. Okay, so what you're going to do, you see this little uh, circle thing here? You're going to put it here and then you're going to wig, it's going to be turned the other way. You're going to wig it, wiggle it around until we match up this four holes with that. And uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So see all i'm doing 
is in the back I'm filling. So right there, I see one, where, uh, let me see here. I'm having, oh, okay, I see why. Okay, okay, so, I, I see that right there. So that's kind of lined up a little bit right, right in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put one screw still looks a little weird here there it goes right there okay um, I'm gonna put one screw in and what I'm gonna do is put one screw with my screwdriver give me a second here okay so I'll, I'll put the first one That'll hold it in place. Now I can go ahead and put the other four. And with this, this screws, I wouldn't tie them, tie them up too, too much because you can probably strip it because there's a lot of plastic in here and uh, you can actually break it. So this is not like they're moving parts. So if you just hand tie it, you know, I wouldn't put too much pressure on it. But you do want to put a little pressure, but not a lot. Okay, so we're almost done here. Okay, now, now this thing, let me see. If, okay, this will actually go up and down, okay? So it has a little bit of play. It also will, uh, it, Actually, it won't tilt, but let's go ahead and uh, move the, uh, let's go ahead and put this other monitor. Okay, so you have to go in here and put these things right in here. Okay, so this is the way it's going to go. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. All I'm going to do is grab this. And oh, I got it backwards, excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and just you're gonna hear it snap. You see how it snapped? Now it's secured. And remember, like I actually did put it around so that this was on this side because uh, I barely have room for this uh, cable. This other cable, I got plenty of room. So let's go ahead and put this guy here. Let me go around this thing here. There we go. Now, one thing that we didn't do was, <clears throat> and I did this purposely so that I could show you. I wanna show you a couple of things about this. Okay, let me move stuff around. So now, look, you see this thing will go up and down, right? I'm gonna push it over a little bit. Now I can make myself some room with this computer to get okay so 
so let me go back a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay, so if I go in and try to use this monitor to flip it from landscape to portrait is hard because I have you see the mouse is hard to it's going backwards so if I I can't use my mouse it's real real hard to navigate right so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to my other monitor and even that was a little hard to do okay so let me I've got a bunch of windows here that I have going so if I right click on this monitor I go to display settings then uh, so this monitor is this monitor right here and the way you can figure out which one is which if you go right here and hit t tell it detect you see this a, a two look detect not showing me uh, so w what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one into a uh, portrait Actually, I'm going to use portrait flip, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to hit portrait flip. You see right here? That is upside down. So I don't want that. If, if I don't know if you can see. Um, oh. so, so let's go to portrait flip this is supposed to be down here so I'm gonna uh, revert this time I'm gonna use portrait okay if I hit portrait now you can see this is where I can read it now it's not upside down so that's how you would set it up okay so it doesn't matter which way you do it what matters is what you do right in here and um, so we're going to use our regular portrait and this time we're going to tell it keep settings now it's real easy for me to do what i want to do with this computer uh you know like i showed earlier or i'll show you in a minute but i'll be able to get a big old um, long document or even some of my programs and be able to see everything at one time so this is one of those documents that uh that i'll i'll show you the difference between this one and uh, if it's being used portrait versus landscape you see how nice it is I, I can see I can see everything versus only seeing parts of the screen okay guys so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you in two different ways but uh, at the end of the videos uh, I just want to thank you now for watching my videos and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to me or at least give me a thumbs up if you like this video thank you for watching my videos guys and i'll see you on the next video So the problem recording, uh, excuse me, viewing your documents in landscape mode is that there's going to be times that you have real long documents. You have to scroll up and down the document just to, uh, to get to where you need to be 
but the problem is if you ever had to create a PDF of this and you wanted to fill the page then you would have to do it in a bunch of pieces so uh, this is a long Photoshop document that I created I was able to create it in the uh, portrait mode and but now I can't see it all at one right same thing with this other program called Xactimate this is one of those real nice programs that uh, you make a lot of money on and you know so when you're looking at your tabs then you, you can't see the whole document or the whole page in one no matter how you move this the width of the page with this program it's not like you can enlarge the the view of it you have you know you can move up and uh, to the right and up and down like this but as far as reducing and um, the text what you would have to do is you would have to reduce the whole page of the uh, screen and then all your other documents would be different so uh, that's another reason why I always need a uh, I always need a monitor that I can flip in portrait mode there will be times that some of the documents and programs have to be viewed in portrait mode so this is a good example of one program that I use there's actually a bunch of them but uh, this is one that I use all the time that I like viewing all the information on each one of these subjects or you know uh, parts of the program so it, uh, another one would be maybe uh, let's say Photoshop I um, there's a lot of times that I create things in, in this program and when I take a snapshot of the <clears throat> monitor I like to show everything in one piece instead of doing it in several pieces